Let me bring up uh, one of these. I definitely appreciate James here for the 30 bomb here on the live chat. He says, hey, guys, loving the show. Uh, what receiver is going to have the best year? I'm from Pensacola, so I'm partial to Kashawn Helton. I think he'll be back to form two years removed from his injury. I might, I might be there with you. I don't know if he'll be the best wide receiver, but I do think he is going to have a pretty good season during the spring scrimmages. And those are just scrimmages and you're just kind of playing around with things, but he was being fed a lot of the ball with the uh, speed uh, pitches too. Um, he was being a lot, a lot with reverses. Uh, you know, just while we were there, Dustin, we got to see him utilize in the backfield just a little bit too, mm -hmm. but to you guys, and I'll give my answer too. Which receiver is going to have the best year overall for FSU next season? Thank you, James, for the friendly donation. Definitely appreciate it. I mean, it's the cop out answer. You know, for me, it's got to be Andrew Parchment, the grad transfer from Kansas. He's just a guy. He's he's a deep ball threat. He's very athletic, got good speed, and you know, now that he's on campus and. They're starting to do seven on sevens, player run workouts. They're starting to build chemistry. I think, I think he's going to have a good season for Florida State. I don't want to say a thousand yards, but it wouldn't surprise me if he gets you know seven hundred or more. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the same boat with with Parchment having. I, I'm under the assumption Milton's going to be the quarterback, and yeah, I didn't want to say it. Kansas has just had really bad quarterback play last year. I think Parchman is going to be that guy. We saw it a few years ago when you know he was actually getting fed the ball that he can make plays. I think it's Parchman. I think a lot of these guys are going to back, bounce back seasons because it's not going to be a strictly run offense that has to stay ahead of the chains mm -hmm. to move the ball. Um, you, you can get in those second and 12 situations and not be scared with Milton as quarterback. If he would be the quarterback, you could throw these deep balls to Helton, Parchman, whoever. But I, I think it's probably Parchman. Yeah, and at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if Keyshawn Hilton or Ontario Wilson both have really good years, and we'll see if some of the true freshmen can step up as well. There's there's some talent in that room. It's just not really proven talent. So we're going to see if this unit can start to take that step forward throughout fall camp. Yeah, there's a lot of youngins. I'm definitely excited about Andrew Parchman immediately once he's arrived. You know, looking back at Parchman, too, and his offseason before arriving at Florida State, he was training with – one, you know, loser, Noel Dalvin Cook, uh, for a couple months down there in Miami. And uh, that was Why sarcasm, loser, Dustin. That was sarcasm, obviously. Now we probably never get him on the show, but uh, guys, everybody, that's sarcasm. It's but, uh, yeah, probably will get clipped. But no, Dalvin Cook, obviously, one of the, the best running back ever to come through Florida State. Training with him comes to Florida State in great shape. And immediately, from what we were told, we dropped this in our Discord and, and gave some little nuggets. And Nate heard some things. Immediately goes out and starts training with Mackenzie Milton and Jordan Travis. This cat is fast. He'll be able to use use him as a weapon down the field. That's something Milton uh, we've seen at UCF. It's worked very well. We also got to see a little bit of it during the spring game when he exploded and was connecting well with even some of the younger wide receivers like Burrell um, and McLean. You know, uh, there's a lot of excitement for that wide receiver, wide receiver room overall. I think it's going to be a big change from last year. But what are you laughing at? I don't know. Your voice like changed. Well, I'm a man, Dustin. I'm going to continue to say that. It's low. I know. But no, I, I do think that wide receiver room is going to be a lot different. But I do think Andrew Parchment, if I were to put some money down, I'm starting to gamble a little bit. I'm having some fun gambling. If I'm going to gamble. I got to put it on parchment for right now. But look at those youngins, man. And, you know, uh, we, we haven't talked about Dustin Hill in a while, and we'll still see if he'll be, if he'll arrive for fall camp or not. But, I, you know, that is one cat. If I were going to do a bold prediction, it would have been a crazy one. It would have been an insane one. It would have been a crazy one. But that cat is just a ridiculous. I don't even, I don't even think it's talent. that. I don't even think it's that insane. That he would he be would, the leader. That he'd be the leader and receive it as a true freshman. I think it would be a. I think he would be top prediction. three, at least. I would. I was going to go all the way and say top. That would have been crazy. I'm here for the bold predictions this week. But I will say, you know, nothing new on him recently. It's been a little quiet on that front, and we'll just have to see if things work out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a good question, though. 